that word is in your heart. It's going to be in your understanding. When people talk to you, we can understand with a natural mind and take offense. You know, Minister uh, Elder Brown and I, we just had a little conversation about that when I came in. She made a comment to me when I came in. And, you know, I kind of laughed to myself, and then I finally told her about it. And we talked back and forth about it. And she says, well, I didn't mean it like that. And I said, I didn't take it like that. But it just sounded funny the way she said it. Now, did I, if I didn't have God's word in my heart, I could have taken offense to what she said. And y'all, we'd have been up in here brawling right now. You know what I'm saying? If, if we was just in the flesh. But the word of God is in my heart. The word of God is in her heart. And so we don't take offense to those things. You know? I mean, you... You know how it is when you talk about our hair, and we just don't take that well, you know. But anyway, praise God, praise God, the love of God, the Word of God was in our hearts. And he said, it will be in my will. And, and, and that, that's an issue that we need to really focus on because, you know, we can study the Word and we can read the Bible. And I had a conversation with two young ladies yesterday, and I hope they're listening. And don't take offense, I'm not going to call your name. But... A situation happened, and so one of the young ladies was telling the other one that was involved in the situation, she said, well, you know, that's just how the devil is when you try to start reading your Bible because they have purpose in their heart. They were going to start reading their Bibles because they have children that they have to cover, be covering over, you know, and, and so they're starting, the Lord is starting to mature them, and so the one lady said, well, that's just how the devil is. Well, I was on the phone with them, and so the one I was talking to started to explain what the little girl was saying, and I said, well, in this particular situation, let me tell you how I see it. Yes, you started reading your Bible, and then this tragedy or this issue happened. I said, but you know what? I said, I don't think it's the devil. I said, I think it's the Lord, because you said, I'm going to read my Bible, and I'm going to do better. But then after you read your Bible, you shut it, you got up, and you went right down that same old bumpy road that's been whooping your head for the last three or four years. I said, so God is trying to tell you, it ain't enough just to read my Bible. You have to take what you read, make it a decision of your will, and then go and do it. 